Welcome back, guys, for more Ostriv. More 18th century uh, banished, <laughs> basically. Right, what are we going to do in this episode? Well, there's a bunch of stuff that we need to do. I'm going to pause the game while I uh, sort some stuff out because there's a lot to sort out. Okay, first of all, let's do let's sort out our farm over here. So we're going to do we're going to do farming. We're going to do crop rotations. So the first thing I'm going to do is order a manager because you can't do crop rotations without a manager. So let right. So we've got a manager in there. Now let's see. I want to make sure in here that we only hire women, both uh, as workers and as labourers. Right, so that's that sorted out. Good. Now we're going to start adding some fields. So, add a field. First field, uh, the first field I'm going to put over here. Now, I want this, like, a bit wider. Now, you can have it up to, like, that's the maximum size. And am I going to go, am I going to go max size? I think I'm going to be a little bit less than max size. And then I'm going to come down here. Now, this is going to be max size, pretty much, to about there and to about there. So that's field one. Right, then we're going to have another field. Now, this one, I want this one to come across to here. So we've got this house going on here. Now, I am wondering about maybe getting rid of that house, actually. Uh, now, you know what? I'm going to leave that house in. And, and I'm going to have a funny shape field. Why not? Let's have a funny shape field. So that's as long as we can make it. So let's say there and... Okay, cool. We've got two fields. And then I'm going to have another field, which I'm going to put... Now, um, and I'm going to put a warehouse in and I'm going to put an oil processing place in as well i think i've got enough room in here to do that stuff so i think we've got enough room and we're going to leave myself a little bit of room at the back maybe i'll leave a little bit of room and we'll have a field let's have a field going out to there and like that kind of thing boom uh, so that's one, two, three. Let's have one more field, which is going to be. So I've got one, two, three. Let's have another field going across here, like this. And max length, which is apparently there. And there. I think I'm just going to go with four fields for now. Uh, and then we can maybe add a fifth field later. So, uh, yeah, we're going to have those fields. What are we going to do in these fields? Okay, we're going to set up crop rotations. So, the way we, we do cross, crop rotations, we're going to start off in, let's see, uh, which is field one? Field one's going to be this one. I want sunflowers in this because we want a lot of sunflowers because we're going to process it into oil. And we're going to be using that as one of our main trading goods because uh, sunflower oil is very good for trading. So we're going to do sunflower oil. Now, sunflower oil uses uh, certain nutrients. There are three nutrients, orange, green, and blue. Sunflower uses 100% um, of the orange and 60% of the green and 30% of the blue, right? Now, to replenish these nutrients, you have to lie fallow for a year. That means you just don't do anything for a year and the nutrients come back. So... In between us, um, this is going to be fallow in the third year. But in the second year, if we're doing sunflowers, then there's enough left over that we could do something like uh, buckwheat, for example. Okay. So we'll do sunflowers, then we'll do buckwheat, then we'll lie fallow. Okay. And then in this field, we're going to do potatoes. Now, potatoes uses 50% and 30%. So we'll do those. Then we want to be fallow because we want to be alternating. And then we're going to have, let's see. Uh, if we're going to do potatoes, that's 50% and 30%. We, 50% of it, we could do wheat as well. So we could do potatoes and wheat. And in actual fact, if we did potatoes and wheat, in theory, 
we could probably grow hemp, but you know, I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to keep it to uh, I'm going to keep it to a, th a, th a three year rotation. So we'll do that. We'll do that, and then I think in the other two fields, let's see. This is field four, isn't it? I think we'll do. I think we'll do the same thing. So we'll do potatoes, and we'll do um. Yeah, we'll do potatoes. Uh, uh, we, you know what? We want to be fallow this year, don't we? We want to be fallow, and then we want potatoes, and then we want um, wheat. Cool. And then the fourth field, we're going to do... Now, the, the first year, do I want to be fun? Yeah. Now nah, I'm going to go. For, I'm going to go. I'm going to see what we can what we can bring in. So I'm going to go that and buckwheat and fallow. So they're going to be staggeringly busy this year. And then next, I don't know. I'm, I'm looking at it now and thinking, should I actually should I add the the fifth field now? Maybe. Um, So I'm looking at it now, thinking, hang on a second, I could like, I like, I could use this area for um, for a field, but no, no, you know what? No, I'm going to leave it like this because we, we, I can always change things around like that. Now you have to activate the fields. I'm not going to do that because we're not into the winter month. We need to go a little bit before we get into the winter month. Uh, then we'll activate it as and the same with the workers. I'm not going to put any workers on yet. Right now, we're going to be producing. Um, sunflowers here now we want to store sunflowers and then process them into sunflower oil so uh, what do I want I want trade and transport I'm going to put in um, a warehouse which I'm going to put somewhere over here I think I'm going to put it about uh, come on line up is that pretty much lined up yeah it's close enough right so I'm going to put a warehouse there and then we're going to get, uh, where are we, production. I want an oil workshop. And the oil workshop, where am I going to put the oil workshop? I'm going to flip it around, I think, that way. And have the oil workshop there. Yeah, oil workshop goes in there. All right, cool. Now, I did put a workshop. Uh, didn't I put a workshop? Oh, no, I didn't. I want to put a workshop over here. Yeah, let's see. Where am I? Produ uh, no, trade and transport warehouse. I want to put a warehouse over here by the by the smithy, so that we can start storing like wood and iron and and all, like all that kind of stuff. So I think if we rotate you kind of around like this, and we'll try and make this a bit of a bit of a feature as well. Let's leave a little bit of gap. Maybe put you kind of there, and I'll do some fencing around this and whatever. So this will be the warehouse for this. So now let's start sorting them. Now I want my fishing dock and I want my boat yard. I want the cart parking. Uh, we'll unpause these houses. The trading post is less important. The so I want uh, the two warehouses built. So let's get those up there. And I want the oil workshop built. Uh, this one is actually more important. Let's get this one built first. Then we'll do uh, the warehouse for the oil workshop. Then we'll build the oil workshop. The cart parking I want done before those. Okay. Now the granary. Uh, the granary will get done after the warehouses. And this water platform is kind of less important. Um, that can go down there. Now, I do want to get one extra house built. So that we can potentially start bringing people in. Now... Uh, let's get let's get maybe a couple of houses built um, immediately after we get the fishing dock and the boatyard done. All right, cool. So that's our build order set up for now. So uh, we start this off now. In here, I'm thinking that maybe for a little while. We I was looking at the carts, and the carts are close to needing to be replaced. I, I tell you what I'm going to do. Uh, am I going to... Yeah, I think I'm going to get the the cart parking promoted. Yeah, get that get that done. Because I'd love to move those over there, because they need to be repaired soon. Uh, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to increase the amount of metal parts that we're making to make sure that we've got enough parts 
to uh, to repair those when they need repairing, which is going to be fairly soon. And I'm probably going to build a fourth cart as well to make sure that we've got enough to satisfy demand. Okay, so that's all good. Now, let's go over here. Uh, what do we want in the market? Well, we're going to want fish soon. Um, and we definitely want... So, firewood... Actually, I'm going to do it in alphabetical way. So, buckwheat we're going to have. We're going to have... Well, we've got firewood. Uh, we're going to have fish very soon. And... What else? And potatoes. That's kind of the key stuff right now. Okay, so we've got, uh, we've got those set up. There's no point putting a worker in there just yet. Okay. I think we can crank this up at this point and start getting some stuff done. We are just about to go into December. Here we go. Yes, we're now into December and it starts to snow. The winter is here, everybody. And we have our nine houses. So everybody's housed. So that's all good. So now I can go over to the farm and I can start allocating workers. Now, one other thing. Uh, actually, let me slow me this down while I do this. Just while I do this. Uh, I, what I should do because our money is constantly ticking down because we're having to pay everybody's wages. Uh, what I can do now, I can activate the farms, which is a good thing. And then I'm going to say prioritize gathering. And then in here, I'm going to say only pay people 50% of wages. Just to keep this under control at the moment. Uh, we want the same thing at the forestry. So only 50% of wages. And now I will say I haven't found like exactly what the sweet spot is for this. Uh, let's get that down to 50%. Labor, I'm going to say uh, use women for the carpentry labor. And again, uh, equal pay, equal pay. They're all getting rubbish pay. <laughs> Everybody gets paid badly. Right, and then we'll do the same over here. Um, we'll just use women as laborers and we'll cut that down to 50% and 50%. Okay, cool. Right now, I think we can crank this up again. You can see that this is just like constantly ticking down. So we just want to keep a handle on that. Oh, the Thatcher as well. Now, the Thatcher, we can cut those workers down. I'm just going to have one person work in there now. And, uh, and we need, and we, one of the things, as somebody pointed out in the comments on one of the videos, uh, the last video actually, um, we need a warehouse so that we can store this stuff up because at the moment these workers uh, are sometimes sitting around doing nothing because they're at the max for their uh, for their storage of products. So we need a warehouse where it can be stored so that people can be constantly working. I, I mean, it's not at this point it's not really a big deal because we're doing a lot of construction, so stuff is getting used like pretty pretty frequently. Uh, you go and look around. It's like we're, we're nowhere near our limits at the smithy. We're, um, we're just about at our limits on the forestry. So storing some extra wood and stuff, probably not a bad idea. But yeah. Right. Now, we really want to get... Oh, now the fishing dock is completed. Hooray. Now, somebody said in the comments, uh, there's no point building a fishing dock. Sky, you need to build the boat yard first because without boats, the fishing dock can't work. Yes, except that you can only order boats right from the fishing dock so you actually need both buildings so that you can then order a boat which will be built at the boatyard delivered to the fishing dock and then you can start fishing okay so lot to do oh yeah lot to do and we need to get those boats built so that we can start fishing as early as possible in the spring okay cool so they're working on the uh, they're working on the boat. We might as well just crank this up until they get um, at least get the boatyard built, and then we'll bang out a couple of houses, and then we'll get that uh, that warehouse going. Actually, I think I might I, I might do one house, one warehouse, then a house, then a, then the other warehouse. That warehouse isn't kind of like it's it's these first four buildings that are kind of really important, and then the rest can kind of wait to be honest. Okay, here comes the boatyard. Now, once the boatyard is constructed, 
which shouldn't take very long now. Boom, there it is. Then I can go into here. I'm going to order all three boats, right? And then we're going to order a worker into there. And uh, which probably means, let's have a look. Oh, nope, somebody's gone to work there. But it means we, we do have two open vacancies. So where are those open vacancies? Let's see. Uh, that's a house, you idiot. Um, uh, none there. Uh, okay, so we've got one at the forestry. I'm going to close that down. Okay. So currently we have, according to this, one open vacancy. But I don't know where on earth that would be. Because we've only got the carpentry, the forestry, the smithy, and the boatyard. That's the only place where we've got jobs going. Uh, over here, it's only for women. So, yeah, I don't kind of get that. All right, well, oh, hang on a second. Uh, let's make sure that that's only hire women. Okay, that's a good thing. Right, where are we? Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one person off building so that hopefully... We've, uh, we've got enough people to fill all the jobs. It's still saying there's one open vacancy. I don't know why. It's what it is. To be honest, I'd kind of like two people working on the boatyard because they've got to shift a lot of wood. It's 2,000 wood to the boatyard, but I need to have somebody working uh, in the carpentry at this point because how are we doing with the carts? Oh, look, one already needs repairing. So it's kind of important. Here we go. You're going to go out and get a cart and repair it. Here we go. Yes, he grabs a cart. Takes it up there. He's got his bits and pieces that he needs to do the repairs. And he sends it back. Awesome. So what we can do now is we can move these carts over to there. And that one. You can still move them even if they need repair. We'll move that one over there as well. And... I'm going to go to here and I'm going to order a fourth cart. All right, cool. Now that should keep our uh, our logging guys plenty busy because we've got 2,000 wood. In fact, no, uh, we need 6,000 wood down here for the boatyard. We need, I think it's, is it 1,500 for a cart? So that's like the, the stocks that we've got already. So hopefully they should be able to... Uh, get back to chopping wood very very soon that'd be nice okay they've all moved so we can actually get rid of this now so goodbye here we go and you can see like there are pit there are times when there are no carts there one just got brought back but see now we've got no carts no, one's brought back so having that fourth cart i think now is the time to to get that going all right we're already into february right so Slow down to medium speed. How are we doing on getting these boats built? Look at this. We've only got 600. Okay, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take another guy. Oh, hello. I'm going to take another guy off there. And I'm going to put another guy on the boat yard. You going to go and work there? Please go and work there. He, he's probably going and having a rest. And then he'll probably... There he is. Cool. So that should help. Because now there's two of them to carry the wood down. So that should get them started, hopefully, a bit quicker. Right, there's the two of them. They're going to go up there, grab some wood, bring it back. Hopefully there's a cart for them to use. Oh, no, somebody nicked it. See, we need definitely need an extra cart. Let's have a look. How are you doing? Right, he's got the he's got the wood that he needs. He needs some more metal parts. You know, um, yeah, we've got... Oh, come on, produce some more metal parts. We could really do with an extra worker at the smithy to produce more metal parts. Let's see. You know what? Once this guy's got enough for the first boat, I might take one of these guys off. Oh, man. It, balancing the labour in this early part of the game. Not so easy. Now, let's see. We're at nine men, nine women. I, I really want to get us... like bring in more people into the village as soon as possible. We're coming up to the end of February. Oh, here they go. Oh, look, two cartloads. That's brilliant. Right. 
So now they've got enough wood that they can start for working on the first boat. That's excellent. That's really good news. Uh, at that point, I think I'm probably going to take one of those guys off. Right, it is now spring. We're into March. So, the women are off over here. Now, did I put workers in? No. Let's put workers in. We've got labourers. I'll put some workers in as well. So they are out sowing the fields. Now, there's a there's a there's a ploughing step which we've skipped. And the reason that we've skipped that is because we don't have a plough. Uh, in order to have a plough, you need oxen to pull the plough. And we haven't got any oxen. We can't get any oxen yet. But um, hopefully in the not too distant future, we'll have oxen and ploughing. So normally you would plough. If you don't plough, uh, you get a slightly uh, lower yield. It's like, I don't know, 25-30% lower. So the first job is to sow the fields. So... They're out sowing sunflowers at the moment. Then there's a growth phase, which and that won't go all the way to the end because we haven't ploughed. Uh, and then there's a ripening phase, and then there's a harvesting phase. So what I want to see this year is like how much of this that they can get done. So this year we've got we've got to sow this field, this field, this field is fallow. Oh no, that field's sunflowers, and then this field's fallow. So we've got three big fields to plant up. Uh, we are well into March. So come on, guys. Get this done. They're sowing this one. They haven't started on that big field yet. So there's a lot to do. A lot to do. Go. Let's see. We've got any workers in there? Oh, they're starting to fill the worker slots now. Good. Right. They've filled all the worker slots. Excellent. Okay. How are we doing down here? So, yeah, we're full at the moment. So like, I could take her off there for a bit uh, and she could go and help out with the sewing. She got to say, I'm kind of sort of tempted to do. But uh, switching people to but switching people around like that, it's so easy to forget. Go on, I'll do it for a bit. Go on, go and help out with the sewing. I'll do it for a bit. I've got to, I've got to, but if you do it with too many buildings, you forget and then you end up running out of thatch and you're wondering why buildings aren't getting built. And, it can all go very wrong very quickly. We have got our first boat. Hooray. Right. Uh, so, let's get somebody working in there. Good. Um, and you know what? I'd really like an extra person working in there. Now, how are we doing over here? Uh, we have got... We've got the three carts repaired. We've got the wood. We're waiting on two metal parts. Well, we're, well, we're just going to have to wait. We've got two workers working there. We, we, we have to have at least two because they can't, they can't carry logs unless there's two of them. So we need to have two guys working there. Um, man. Man, it's tough. Okay, well, it is what it is. Okay, we have got... We've got somebody coming down to go fishing. Hooray! She's been up. I want to see the first little fishy trip. And our first bit of uh, bit of stuff coming. So, he rows out there. He sits there, and apparently the magical fish just jump into the boat. Look, they just jump in and appear. <laughs> and then we now have ten fish. Yes! And there was much rejoicing. So now what we can do is we can go up here to this market stall, and we can assign a worker. And again, I want to say, don't hire men. And uh, we want... 50% wages. Right, cool. Need to do the same down here as well. Um, yeah, we don't want to hire men as labourers. 50% and 50%. Oh, let's put this on medium. Uh, I think every, there's so much to do. There's so much to stay on top of. Uh, let's see. This should be 50%. Women as labourers and 50%. All right, cool. Uh, we've just built another house. Excellent. Okay. We want to start bringing people in. Not enough food for sale. Let's get this going. Come on. Where's the woman who works here? She's she's idling at the moment. She's resting over here. They actually do have a, a bar. Like an energy bar that they need to replenish by sitting down and resting. 
Okay, so she is now going to head on down. And she's going to pick up some fish. And she's going to take it back to the market. All right. Now, go on. Get that fish in there. Hooray, we have 10 fish. Now, is that enough food? Yes, we have enough food. We've got enough housing, jobs. Uh, so, any minute now, literally, from any point now, going forwards, we might get people moving into the village, which would be a very, very good thing. Um, we are working on this warehouse over here, which is not the warehouse. Oh, we've already done this warehouse. Hooray. Okay, let's um, let's slow things down to medium while I set this up. So what do we want to store in here? Well, I definitely want to store more wood. So let's have at least what? Uh, a couple of thousand? At least, I would think. Um, do I want to start store charcoal in there? I don't think I do. Uh, we'll store iron in here. And again, let's say up to 2,000 iron we'll store. And metal parts and nails, no. But thatch. We'll have up to 2,000 thatch. Cool. And then we want the same thing. We don't want men working here. We want the women to do this. We'll drop the wages down to 50% and 50%. And I'm going to hire a worker in there. Okay. So that worker will now start moving those things in there which would be very good and let's see how much iron have we got left we've got 326 iron hopefully that'll get moved in there and then we can get rid of this camp storage and that just leaves us with the last building being the camp center and to replace that we need the town hall in fact um i think yeah this will be removed as soon as this has been taken out and in fact look there she is just came over and took 100 iron she's very very strong that's a very strong 100 iron? Yeah, no problem. I'll just carry that up there. It's fine. It's uphill, you know. You know, it doesn't bother me. I can carry 100 iron there. No problem. 100 pounds of iron. Yeah, up a hill. Yeah, no no worries. Right. <laughs> All right. We're getting this warehouse done now. Awesome. Uh, then Now, we don't need the granary kind of just yet, to be honest. So, I think I'm going to maybe get another house in there. Let's see. Oh, hello. We've got more people moving in. I missed the message. So we were at nine men, nine women, and we're now up to 11 men and 10 women. So obviously some single guy has moved in. All right, cool. Where are you? Oh, we've got an 84 year old. Okay, fair enough. So that he's brought his grand, they brought their granddad with them. Well, why not? Oh, we've got, we've got grandparents in here as well. Very cool. Right, we've completed this warehouse. Now this warehouse over here, this is just gonna be used for storing uh, sunflowers, uh, let's see. Uh, but we haven't got any sunflowers at the moment, so I can't actually can't even set it up. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's all good. The oil workshop. Now. Right. So let's see how are we doing with these fields. This has been sowed and it's growing. This has been sowed and it's growing. This has been sowed and it is growing. And we're in May. Now the question is, once it's grown and it's ripened, how long is it going to take for us to harvest all of this? Oof. That could be that could be quite brutal. We'll see. We'll see how much of it we get done. How are we doing up at the market? Oh, we've got 20 fish in uh, no, we no we haven't. We've sold 20 fish. We've got 10 fish in stock. And we're up to 40 people now. 26 and we've got 13 men and 13 women. Hooray! That is very good news. So we should be filling our jobs now. So I think maybe we get um, another guy working there. We've got two boats built. Once he's built the third boat, we can get rid of this guy for a while. But these boats do have uh, durability. So every now and then they need to be repaired in the boatyard. So, But we can take this guy off for a while probably. This is very good news. This is very... Oh, here comes another fisherman. Good job. Let's have a look. No housing, no jobs. Let's get more jobs going then. So, uh, where do we want more jobs? I've got two guys in there. We've got one guy in the carpentry. That's fine. We could maybe add another guy to the forestry. And we could potentially add another job in building. 
in fact um, yeah might even add another job in the building how are we doing over here yeah we're all good oh we're growing we're growing we're getting there come on grow 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 Alrighty, uh, so we've got another house coming along. Then we're going to have the granary, which is uh, which is up here, isn't it? Yeah, there's the granary. So we'll have the granary. Then we'll have somewhere to like store stuff that comes in. Um, and then we've got the oil sh workshop, that platform, and then the trading post. Yeah, yeah, it's all looking good at the moment. It's all looking good. How are you doing? You need three hundred more wood, and then you can build the last boat. That's awesome. Now, uh, I took that person out of here, didn't I? Need to put them back, open up a job. Let's see, how are we doing? We have got four women looking for jobs. Uh, all the men are occupied and we've got one open vacancy. Those women are going to be very occupied come harvesting season, harvesting these fields. So, um, yeah, bringing more people in. No bad thing at all. This house, let's see. We still need some wood, some nails, some clay, some thatch. Here comes some more. I'm kind of tempted. Granary, we can cut. I'm tempted to get another house built. Because we need the people. We need the people in order to get the harvest in. We need lots of, uh, lots of labourers available. Let's have a look. No houses. See, the only thing stopping more people from moving in is the housing. So, yep, yeah, let's get those houses built. I might even, I might even build another one. I think I'm probably going to, because again, we don't need the granary right now, and it's going to be at least a couple of months before we start bringing the crops in. So it's all good at the moment. Uh, right, I think we could, I think we speed things up at this point. How are we doing down here? Have you built the third boat? We've got one boat out. No. Okay, now he's got enough wood. He's got to take the cart back. Then he can build that boat, and then he's done. Then we can get rid of him, for a, at least for a while. Let's see, we've got we've got 70, 80 fish in stock down here. How many have we got at the market? We've got, we've got 20. Okay, we've got another village house completed. Are we going to get some more people moving in? I would think very, very soon we'll get some more people work, moving in. And we've started work on the next house, which is this one up here. All right, how are we doing for like nails and stuff? We are... Yeah, it's a good job I put the second guy on now that we're kind of ramping up the construction because we're... We need the nails. We really need the nails. All right, we've got two boats. How's the other boat coming along? Come on, get down here. Oh, he's not he's not he's not working on it at the moment. Oh, there he is. Get down here and build this boat. We need that boat. How are things going on in the fields? Okay, we're it, it'll get up to about here on the growth. This one, yeah. It'll get up to about here without plowing. Where are we? June. So we've got July, August, September, October, November. We've still got five months. We've got to do the whole ripening process, then harvesting. So, I don't know. We should be okay. Look, we're out of nails. Nails is holding us up. Need, need eight more nails before we can build this house. Where are we up to? Okay, we're up to 28 adults now. 14 men, 14 women. Good news. So, let's see. Yeah, we've got him working there. We've got both guys working there. And there comes the third boat, which means... We can now get rid of you for a while. Let's have a look at the condition of the. Well, let's see. Yeah, you can see they're going to. Those boats are going to be fine for a while. All right. I'm only going to have two guys uh, fishing at the moment. I think. Now we've got 140 fish built up down there. This is where we need the granary and start storing stuff up for the granary. So we've got one more house to be constructed, and then we'll get the granary. What do we need? We need. Uh, 8,000 wood and 164 nails. Are you continuing to churn out? Yeah, they're churning out the nails. Those were reserved for this house. 
We need 78 more nails for that. So yeah, having the having the getting the smithy early, churning out the nails, pretty important. Now, one thing that I can do while we're kind of waiting for stuff to happen is go around and make sure that we got benches around the place so that people can rest. So let's have. Um, so a bench there, and um, we'll wait for that stuff to get built, I suppose. Where else? Maybe, um, maybe a bench down here by the by the thatcher. What do I want to do? I want to you know, rotate it that way. Um, yeah, one there. And then maybe, maybe, maybe one over here, in between the two houses. Pop one in there. Oh, now I did want to put some down here by the well. So let's flip you. Oh, come on, come on, line up. Let's have a bench in there. There you go. See, people are using them. I might put another one over there as well. Let's flip it 180 degrees with the Y key and pop one in there. I'm going to put some trees in there at some point. And then, and now I've got a bench over there. We haven't got any benches over here. Let's put some benches in. Let's have a bench there and a bench there. You can see people start using them like straight away. Let's have another bench over there. And... Looks like we've got a, a nice little bit of a gap here, so uh, let's run you 90 degrees and pop you in there. Cool. And and we, we do have a little bit of a gap there. I, I was wondering though, like um, I want I do want a well somewhere around here because th this one's going to go at some point, and we do need water for the smithy. So I was thinking a well over here, but we, we do have a little gap there. You know, I might put another. I might put another bench over here. Uh, come on, line up. There we go. So, well, I have one more bench there. That's that. And then, have I got room for it? Like, have I even got room for a well there? Let's see. Nah, nah, I haven't got room. Okay, it was it was an idea. So I'll probably have a well like over here behind the smithy. Is what I'm thinking. Maybe we'll see. And I need to figure out how I'm going to kind of fence this area off, but that's not kind of urgent. We are into August now. How are we doing? Oh, they oh, good Lord. They've already started gathering. Yep, we've done the growth. We've done the ripening. And they are now gathering. Now, let's have a look. Let's, uh, you know what, let's slow this down for a second. Let's actually have a look at them. Gathering the crops. Going along, picking it up. And when they've got enough, they'll suddenly magically produce a basket which they'll plonk down on the ground. There's one sitting there. Any of you going to produce a basket full yet? You know what? Let's crank it up. There we go. There's a basket full. Right, so those are going to get put into this building. And as you can see, we've already got um, a bunch of sunflowers that have, been, uh, that have been gathered and put into there. So let's see. Oh, hello. Sunflowers, here we go. So let's say we want to store in here, I don't know, let's say, I'm happy them to store a lot of sunflowers because this is just going to be sunflowers. So you know what, I'm going to say like 10. You can store 10,000, not 100,000, you can store 10,000 sunflowers in there because that's all it's for. Uh, now, do I put somebody on here just yet? Eh, and I'm thinking actually probably yes. S uh, so what do I need to do? I need to say, I only want women and drop it down to 50%, 50%, and yeah, hire somebody to go and work in there. All right, cool. Uh, let's see, now, I'm just wondering about like freeing up labor and stuff. I got that guy out of there, we've got a couple of guys fishing, we've got 230 fish going on, which is nice. So up here, we can say, what do we want in this granary? We are gonna be storing buckwheat in here. We are gonna be storing fish. We're gonna be storing, well, eventually we will be storing flour. Although, I, yeah, that, I might put that somewhere else. Certainly potatoes will go into here. And 
Uh, sunflower oil. Will we store some sunflower oil, oil in here? We probably will at some point, but you know what? For now, that's fine. Um, am I going to put somebody in here? I, I'm going to hold off on putting somebody in there because, like, right now, we need people working on these fields. Let's have a look. Yeah, see, we could do with a lot more labourers. So, let's see. Where can I spare people from? Uh, I can't spare you. Uh, I could spare you. So, yeah, go and work on that harvesting. We haven't got anybody in there. Uh, you're starting to bring the sunflowers in here, which is a good thing. We're starting to get the potatoes coming in as well. Uh, maybe, let's see, did I put, I put the Thatcher back on? Yeah, go on, go and do some labouring, Mrs. Thatcher. <laughs> Where are we up to? September, we've got, so we've got September, October, November. So we've got the best part of three months to get this in. So I don't think getting the crops in should be too much of a problem. This is the potato field that they're gathering now. And then we've got another massive field of sunflowers to get gathered. So it's not it's not an insignificant task, uh, and I should I should probably say over here, with the labourers. Uh, you know what? Let's allow let's allow men because look, there's an extra couple of men who didn't have anything to do. We need more housing. We're working on the oil workshop. We do I start working on that now? Or do we get another house built? It's a good question. You know what? Now that it's being built, we might as well leave it. And then we'll get another another house going on. Alright, cool. We're making we're making like half reasonable progress. So, uh, the the big question is: can we get all of this gathered before winter sets in? They are start look, they're over here, they're starting to gather the uh, the sunflowers from this field. They've almost finished with the potato field. We're halfway through September. October, November. We've got two and a half months. Right, this field is now done. They're, they've still got to like, bring these things in and whatever. Let's see. How are we doing over here? Are you still shipping? Yeah, you're still shipping the sunflowers in there. That's good. Right, we've got almost 2,000 potatoes. Awesome sauce. And they're bringing in the sunflowers. We're almost in October, November. We've got two full months to clear that field. I think we're going to be absolutely fine. Yeah, look, look at all the people flooding out here. I'm wondering whether I actually needed to recruit those couple of guys. I probably didn't. But, you know, I'd rather err on the side of caution and make sure that I get the full crop in. Yeah, we're fine, actually. I think we can... Um, we could definitely look at putting that fifth field in now. Yeah, that's something we're definitely going to do this winter. We'll put in an extra field. Because we can obviously cope with it. We've only got one fallow field this year. So, yeah, another field for sure. All right, cool. Uh, once, once the gathering season is done, we can get the uh, oil being processed, which would be nice. And I can start putting people in to work in, in like the granary and other workshop. Uh, and start getting stuff moved around the place. So, that, for example, this poor woman doesn't have to keep coming down here to get fish. What we can do is get... The, like, somebody can come down with a cart, grab all the fish, ship it up to the granary. And then this woman can stock her stall just by going to here. And we now have uh, we now have potatoes. And... Oh, no, well, the fish just went. But we've got potatoes, potentially fish. So, fish and chips. Hooray! People can have fish and chips. We've got another house going up. Which is awesome. What are we up to? We're up to 16 men, 16 women. How are we doing for jobs? Uh, we have got one man. Uh, oh, no. Well, we had one man and like oh, now two men, seven women looking for jobs. So we can start to wrap things up. Guys, we're going to leave it there for this episode. We are October. Now we've got a month and a half and we've already finished the harvesting. So we've completed the harvest season. Okay, that's very impressive. Now I can start reallocating people to do more, like the construction faster. We can start looking at other industries. Oh, things are going to start moving along now. Guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll catch you for the next one. Peace out.